Hi, this is Em from WCCF Tech, and the latest Japanese DIY market report from BCNR shows that Intel CPUs have regained their lead over AMD Ryzen CPUs, which had an outstanding three-year run as the x86 market leader. BNC ranking numbers are based on sales databases collected and aggregated from actual sales data of PCs and components from major retailers and online DIY shops, which account for an overall 40% of the Japanese PC market. It was all the way back in 2019 when we reported that AMD and Intel had achieved a 50-50% market share split after the successful launch of the Ryzen desktop CPUs, and now three years later, the dominating spree has come to an end. But it was one brilliant run as AMD managed to outclass its rival quarter after quarter and reach sales figures unlike any chip that came before it. Now it looks like the throne of the Japanese DIY CPU market is back at Intel and as the manufacturer continues to gain market share and it currently has hit 74% market share in January of 2022 compared to AMD's 25% market share. Intel's Core i5 CPU sales are reaching the same highs as AMD's Ryzen 5 CPUs from early 2020 with a market share of 35.7% while Core i7 CPUs come in a second place with a market share of 25%. AMD Ryzen 5 sales have fallen down to 12.6% while Core i3 and i9 CPU sales currently stand at 10.4% and 7.5% respectively. The main reason for the decline in AMD CPU sales and the missing Ryzen 9 and Ryzen 7 parts is said to be the continued Ryzen CPU shortage. AMD is affected heavily due to the logistics and shipment woes that are currently affecting the market. The good thing out of all of this is that despite the shortages, the average selling price of both Intel and AMD CPUs have remained almost static. So now looking at the whole picture, Intel is in the same position where AMD was a few quarters back. But now the tides have turned and it's AMD CPUs that are affected by the supply shortages while the blue team enjoys gaining its ground back in the Japanese DIY segment. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.